What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to actually edit videos on your iPhone here in 2022. And I don't mean just going into the Photos application and trimming a video up. I'm talking about combining clips, adding sound effects, music, transitions, and more. And since there are hundreds of video editing apps out there right now, I wanted to show you my five personal favorites. All right, so first up is VN Video. And VN Video has a really great UI right here. I really like how everything is separated. So you have a music section, you have a text or subtitle section, you have a sticker or picture in picture section, you have your video clip, and you could also detach the audio or mute the audio very easily right there. And if you wanted to add music to your project, you could do that. You could add sound effects, you can record a voiceover. And if you go to music and tap on more, you can import music from your files application. So if you downloaded music or sound effects online, you can import that very easily right there. And down in that bottom control panel, you can see you have your filter, your speed, you can split clips really easily. You can get really precise by zooming in and you can see exactly where the audio cuts off. So if you want to you know, trim up a part, a blank space in your video, you could do that, split it and then delete very easy you have your effects down here and the cool thing about the effects is that it previews it in real time you don't have to press anything so you can see there it'll show what that effect looks like and if you split some clips you could tap on the plus right here to add in some transitions there's quite a few transitions you can change the duration and everything i do also like the fact that you could add text in here because it actually looks pretty professional like if you added something like the bubble right here you can make that look pretty professional you can add the time the date you can change the color just a lot of settings in here to change and one of the main things i like about vn video is the amount of export settings so if you go up here to export your clip and then go to manual you can see you have a resolution fps you have a bitrate setting and you also have an hdr toggle so i love the fact that you have a lot of flexibility with your exports and it exports in good quality it doesn't degrade the quality like other applications and one thing to keep in mind is that vn video does add this little outro screen right here by default so make sure you delete that before you export your clip and one last thing I wanted to mention is that you guys saw, I went through this whole interface and there were no ads or no pop-ups. That's another thing I love about this application. There are very minimal ads or pop-ups. Next up is a very popular application called CapCut. And this was created by ByteDance, which are the creators of TikTok. So you know you're not gonna have any ads and you're gonna have a really solid UI. So I really love the rearranging UI. So if you cut up a clip, Right here, you can see you could rearrange those clips very easily. It kind of you know erases everything out of the timeline and just focuses on those clips, which I really, really love. And since this is created by the same creators of TikTok, they do integrate with each other. So if you go to sounds right here, you could see you can import your sounds from TikTok and use those right here. You also have your extracted sounds and you can extract the sound from your video, which I did right here. And you have a lot of different effects and different settings you could change right there. Now, one thing to keep in mind with CapCut is that there is a 15 minute limit and there is also a outro screen here as well, just like the first one. So if you go to the very end right here, you will see we have a little CapCut outro and you can delete that and you could add different effects like these little bubbles and lots of other video effects and audio effects as well there are quite a few transitions i do like vn video better for transitions but there are still a lot of cool things you could do here with cap cuts the next video editing application is called luma fusion and this is definitely the most professional of the bunch and it is my preferred editor when i have a lot of time to sit down and edit so i would say this is the best if you really have time to edit you're not really in a hurry and also if you're in investing in something like if you're creating a YouTube channel and you need a good video editor but you don't have a computer or you just rather do it on your phone Luma Fusion is the best you do also have a landscape mode right here as well where you can see all your transitions and everything and your clips up top and your timeline down below which is a great UI and one thing I love about Luma Fusion is that you can really just drag and drop everything so if you find some transitions here if you wanted to add that between clips you just drag and drop it right there you can pinch in on your timeline and make that transition shorter or longer also if you detach the audio so if I go here and tap on this detach button you can see if we tap on this again you could change the volume for each different section or you know each different event in your project you could tap on this right here as well to get even more options like i said this is a very professional application for a mobile device so if you have time to sit down and learn it it's definitely worth it if you plan on editing in the long term and then also when you go to export you can see you have a lot of different options here as well so you could do as a movie audio only a project package a snapshot you could do all of that and if you go here you could select your movie destination so i'll just do photos and of course you get a ton of options the most of any application in this list for your export settings oh and one last thing i wanted to mention that i love about luma fusion is that you could change the interface 
case. I haven't used this, but I know some people that are left-handed or some people that don't need to see all this extra stuff, you could change your layout. There are six different options for your layout, depending on you know what you value more. If you just wanna see your clips and nothing else, you could see it just like so, or you could change it between all these different options. Next up is Vlow. And this is another very simple, very easy to use video editing application. Once you add in your clip there, you can see you get these options. If you wanted to crop it in easily, it shows it right there. You also have the different transform options. You have the from the start, from now, you can clip it very easily. So if I go right here, I could clip right there from now and it deletes that without having to tap another button, which I do really like that interface you could add your music down here your sound effects you could do a voiceover and one thing to keep in mind is that there are premium effects that you do have to either watch an ad or pay for you can see it will be you know denoted by this little yellow play icon next to it so not everything is free in this application but there is a landscape mode which does make it really nice to use especially for one of the more simple applications not like LumaFusion but there are a lot of effects a lot of different you know audio that you could add in here if you wanted to add audio all you have to do is go over to audio right here tap in BGM and you can see you can add all of these right here you can go to your recents your iTunes your Vlow you could use files so if you download something online you could add that in right there very very simple it will add another you know row right here for you to edit the audio as well so flow when you go to export right here you can see very simple interface really not too much you do also have an alarm right here so it says an alarm will sound when video exporting is complete i've never used that but you can also export the video as a gif which is a feature i think is pretty cool you do also have project and caption, which are premium features. And then last but not least is an application called InShot. And this is one that is also very simple. A lot of people first get started with InShot and you can see there is a little watermark down there in the bottom. But if you tap the X on that, you can remove that by watching an ad or buying premium. And one thing to keep in mind, if you don't pay for this, the export will be lower quality than what you would probably want. So that's one thing to keep in mind, but the interface is very easy to use. I don't like this one as much as the other that's why I saved it for last but it is very simple it's a good getting started editor right here there are transitions you could change the speed the video the volume things like that but there, like I said there are ads and it is going to reduce the quality of your video and you do also have to watch an ad to remove the watermark right there and when you go to export once you tap on save you will see another ad after this finishes up before you can even see you know before your video actually saves so once this gets to 100 percent you will see an ad pop up and yeah you do have to x out of that before it shows up in your albums and then just an honorable mention that i wanted to put at the end of this video is imovie this is another one that is going to be free some people might have this installed by default on their device it's not the best but it is something that is straight from apple and it's not going to have any ads you can change the speed you can combine clips you could add different text in there you're not going to have as many professional looks like with the text or you know with the transitions or anything like that but it is something that's pretty bare bones and very easy to use so there you have it those are my five current favorite video editing applications here in 2022. now if i had to rank them from my favorite to my least favorite I'm going to exclude LumaFusion because I think that is easily the best of the bunch, but it is not a free application. It is a paid application and it's more meant for those who are taking their editing very serious and trying to start a career as a creator, or you're just trying to get paid from your videos. I would recommend LumaFusion to anybody who is in that category, but we're going to exclude that just for the sake of mentioning the free video editing applications. So my number one would probably be VN video. I just like how you have really good export quality. You have a lot of export settings. You just have a lot of solid transitions and color corrections. Really everything I'd ever want is in VN video. And the only reason I like that better than CapCut, which is going to be my number two, is because it's not made by ByteDance. Sometimes, you know, CapCut will say that it's taking your information and putting it in their database. And then, you know, that's the only way you can get effects on your video is if you put that in their database. That kind of makes me feel uneasy sometimes. So that's why I prefer VN video. Although CapCut is also very good. Those two are neck and neck, in my opinion, at one and two. Number three would probably be Vlow. That's my third favorite, excluding LumaFusion. And then InShot in last place. And of course, I'm not going to rank iMovie just because that is an honorable mention. But yeah, let me know your preferred video editing application down in the comments below. I'm really curious to see which one you like the best. And if this video helped you out at all, I would appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure to subscribe for more videos just like this one. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you soon.